Hello everyone, this is Zach Cameron, the Beverage Director at Peak. I'm here with Hudson Yards at Home to get, brighten up your day. Today we're going to learn how to properly decant a bottle of wine. There are a few basic tools that one needs when decanting a bottle of wine. The first, of course, is a wine opener. Most of you probably have a basic wine key at home, and that's perfect. If you are planning on opening an older bottle that you've cellared for some time, I do recommend a Durand. It's a combination corkscrew and Asso that will prevent you from breaking the cork and dropping any into the wine. Should you do that, you may want to use a filtering screen over the neck of your decanter. You will also need a decanter and a white candle. So to prepare your bottle for decantation, you always want to remove the entirety of the foil that will allow you to see the wine as it passes through the neck of the bottle. And I'll explain that in a minute. So now you're ready to decant. You've lit your candle and placing the bottle and the decanter gently over the candle, you want to slowly pour it into the decanter. As you can see through the candlelight, you can detect whether or not there's any sediment, any uh, chunks in your wine. You'll be able to start to see that as you get towards the bottom. Now, a lot of people ask why to decant a bottle of wine. And one of the primary reasons is for a younger wine to be able to open up and breathe, to be able to sort of jumpstart its evolution from an aromatic and flavor standpoint. In terms of decanting a very old bottle of wine that may have a high uh, incidence of sediment, you really want to be careful because you may ruin the wine by overexposing it to air. I usually recommend that people let those bottles stand vertical for a couple of days before people enjoy them. That way the sediment naturally falls to the bottom. So as you can see, we're starting to see a little bit of cloudiness move through the wine. That's the beginning of the sediment. So I don't want to go too deep. And again, keeping the angle very consistent, I'm just slowly pouring the wine in. And as you can see, there's a small cloud that's starting to move through the wine. Now, again, I want to be careful not to get that all in the wine, so I'm going to pull up and stop right there. So now that you've decanted your bottle, you're ready to enjoy. But the wine will continue to evolve over the next few hours in the decanter, so it's a nice game to be able to play to taste it periodically just to see how it's doing. Enjoy.